Right, good day YouTubers, and today I'm just off to uh, a little place not far away for a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich at Glasson Dock. And uh, on the way, ooh, ooh, these roads aren't very good, are they? On the way, ooh, all right. on the way, I'm going to uh, just talk a little bit about the next season of Travels by Narrowboat, season seven. And uh, when I'm actually going to get going, which is going to be the 4th of July, Independence Day. I mean, if, if I didn't do what I do, you know, making a TV program, then I could just, you know, if it was just me, personal boater, I would, well, I'd basically off I'd go and I'd stay on the boat overnight, but because I do what I do, I have to be seen to be a good boy. Well, it started off quite sunny today. I'll tell you, these British roads, they're getting worse. Yeah, still uh, surprisingly warm. <laughs> getting uh, splattered by uh, all manner of bugs and things. Apologies, by the way, for the uh, the sound. The bike does rumble and burbles along, but because of the noise cancelling on the microphone, uh, you won't hear a huge amount of it. Plus, I have the helmet open so that uh, you can all see my handsome face as I'm uh, talking to the camera. Hi. Hello. Oh, when I'm not cruising along on Aslan, you just can't be cruising along on a bike. I've always had my little bikes. Cool. Shall I go through them? I've had a... Well, my first bike was a motocross bike. KTM 125. And then I, when I was 16, I got myself a, a moped. I got an FS1E Yamaha. A fizzy. I mean, I thought that was uh, I thought that was the machine. Uh, she had an all-speed exhaust on her, and uh, you turn the handlebars upside down, and uh, they're almost like clip-ons. And uh, on a good day downhill with a nuclear holocaust behind you, uh, she would hit 45 miles an hour. Well, on the speedo. And I've had uh, three Yamaha RD125 LCs. Only 125s, but if you if you unrestricted them, you'd get about 25 horsepower. 12 horsepower restricted. Yeah, and you could you could hit 80 mile an hour. Incredible. Uh, then I've had what else have I had? I have had, I had the VX800 Kawasaki, I've had uh, two 600 Honda Hornets, and then I've had a CB1300 uh, F, or was it SF, something like that, um, not the British model, but the uh, rare Japanese import, completely different bike, but uh, very impressive engine and look good as well. 
Uh, I've had uh, BMW R1100 GS. Uh, go. Oh, a Jeepney Z750. Uh, the H1, H1 model sports bike. Yeah. Nice, oh, uh, many bikes. Oh, and of course the Kawasaki. And you really wanted to know that, didn't you? Oh, cool, blimey. Gravel right in the middle of the road. Good way to lose your front wheel there, so uh, I just have to go wide. Wow. These are the many uh, things you have to look out for on your motor bicycle. It's been a uh, What's it been about uh, three weeks now? Maybe getting on for a month since I did my last video. And uh, I had a look on Facebook, and there's a lot of uh, viewers' posts. Some of you quite worried, I think. Um, wondering where I am or where I've been. Am I still alive, or am I, uh, am I succumbed to the coronavirus? Or one of the many coronaviruses? But no, I've just basically been enjoying the fact that we could be free and do things like ride a motorbike. which I've been doing plenty. After all, we were incarcerated for, what was it, 10 weeks? Uh, yeah, and uh, oh, what a lot of fun that was. <laughs> anyway, the, these are the uh, the back roads going to Glasson. I mean, ultimately it goes to Lancaster, but uh, yeah, Glasson Dock, three and a half miles. Uh, Glass and Dock is uh, it's becoming a, a good bike meet. I mean, it's always uh, it's always had a little uh, burger bar there, and bikes, you know, have always gone there for a cup of splash and a burger or bacon sandwich. But since um, Devil's Bridge and several other bike meets haven't yet reopened. It's become quite busy. More gravel in the road. And a bicyclist.
Yeah, it burbles along quite nicely, this bike. Now, as I say, you won't be able to hear it. Oh, here we go. Time to get some air. Woohoo! <laughs> Mad. Right, left turn, Clyde. I get the feeling, being a Saturday and it's not raining, that it's going to be fairly busy. Which is always nice. We're on our way to Glasson, din, 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 aboard the Vulcan Express. Din, 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 din. We'll hit the stops along the way. We only stop for a nice cup of tea and a bacon sandwich. Yep. Nice. Right. Quick disclaimer then, while I'm waiting for my uh, bacon and egg sandwich. There may be loads of people gathered here, but we're all uh, responsibly observing a minimum two metres, and only those are households and so on that normally uh, you know, spend time together or are now allowed to meet, only they're in close groups. But uh, the rest of us, we're all being good boys and girls. And I should add that the law allows us to do so. Well, that was a very, very delicious bacon and egg sandwich. And uh, as I said, 4th of July, I'll be off down the canal back to Preston, where I'll be continuing filming of season seven. And if it needs to be said, I just want to reiterate again that uh, here at Glasson, uh, especially around the burger van 
Uh, two metre lines are all clearly marked. There's sanitising gel at the counter and everybody is observing a good, respectable and safe distance. And uh, there you are. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I shall be off soon and I'll see you then. Cheers for now.